that was a short I did of the breakup song. I'd like to show you how to play that today. I'm tuned to F, C, F. And the reason I did that is because there's a low F note. That's kind of important. Now if you tune to E, you could get that F note, but it'd be a real stretch. You'll see that in a couple minutes. So I just tuned to F. If you are in E and you like being in E, you could put a capo on the first fret. And what I use for capos, I use pencils. Little pencils like this, an elastic band. And I just wrap the elastic band around the pencil. Like that. Like that. I have to wrap it around a few times, but I find this works better than a store-bought capo. Because these are so grippy and everything, they sound kind of out of tune, you have to retune everything. So anyway, thought I'd share that. I know. Start playing the song. Okay. So once again, F, C, F. We're going up to the fourth fret. We're playing what's actually an A minor chord, and we're going four, 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 six, seven. Letting it all ring, or I like letting it ring. I'm using a cube on uh, clean with a little bit of chorus, probably a little bit of echo. Okay, and then we need that F note. And there's another F note here. So, that's five, four, same notes. And then we have a G. Play the low in the middle, and then we play the six, four, two, then we play the chord. Four, four, four. Right? Okay. If you can actually hold this as a chord, it sounds nice. But I understand that might be difficult depending on the size of your hands and how long you've been playing and how heavy your strings are. So that's your intro. Very, very easy. And this song works with slide too because basically you don't have to necessarily hold the chord. There's your slide. So if you tip your slide and the chord dies, it'll still work. If I knew where my slide was, I'd show you slide and obviously a one finger chord will work for slide so I'm going to show you the rest of the song in one finger chords for that very reason so now we're into the verse it plays this four times starting on the fourth fret four and four low and middle And it starts again. Does it two more times, and it doesn't pause and say anything in between. One more. Chorus open seven two nine. Open, seven, two. Later on in the song, and near the end of the song, there's a double chorus. Just means it plays that first part three times and then does the and goes back into the uh. That's all you need to play that song. Oh, there's a little bit more to it. In the chorus, it actually does this muted picking in between each chord. So, one, two, three, four like that. Okay, and if you've been playing for a while and uh, you're saying to yourself, well, I'm not a slide player and why do I have to run my hands up and down the neck like that and play with one finger? Well, you don't. The forms, chord forms, are connected. So here we have F, zero, zero, zero. If you go up four frets, and go four, five, four, it makes this shape. 
And now that becomes an F actual major chord. This is the third of the chord, F, G, A. A happens to be the third. So you've got the third in the bass, but it's still an F chord. So you could go like that. Um, or you could go up three frets from there, one, two, three, and here's another F chord. I sort of like the low F for this, but let's say we want to change to seven. Well, we could go down five, one, two, three, four, five, and do this shape. This shape is the same as the shape I was doing here. If we had done this here, one, two, three, four, five, we would have found our F back up here on 12. Hope I'm not confusing you. That's how they're connected. From a zero, zero, zero shape, you get an actual major chord four frets up, three frets up from there, which is a total of seven. You get another modal chord with the fifth in the bass. It says the third in the bass, the fifth in the bass. Isn't this fancy, all this information? And then you're back up here, another fret's higher. So you can go the other way too. So for the seven, go back down five, one, two, three, four, five, and do this shape. So you could go. I'm just going up there to illustrate. You could do that here. So once again, I'll do it all down there. So if you remember that, four, three, five, or in reverse, or start from anywhere, you can always find a closer shape to play the chord. It might not always sound the way you want it to. It might even sound better, but you can do that. Have a great day. Bye.